Solstice. December has cut the throat of another day. The light bleeds away westward, dying the clouds in briefest reds. For a week, a keen wind has honed the moon to a blade. There's barely a sliver remaining, a white edge that traces an arc haunted by the memory of the old moon. The fields are heavy as remorse. Pools shiver at each splash of air, cower from the senile wind, crust around blackened grasses. Nothing breathes here. Nothing breathes, and yet, amidst this boldness, the urgent snout, the darting beak, black leaves flicked, stabbed, rifled, there's something clandestine abroad, a rumour, solstice, a whispered word. The tidal moon is pregnant with it and cradles in her arc the print of the full. Hedges are raising wicker fingers to sift the zodiac's turning braille for myths of recurrence. Even the frost seems cold, only with waiting. It is we that grow old, not the world. All about, nature wheels on axes of return. Our charge is set for a single firing before we fall to ashes. Still we blaze up, red in the knowledge that the maths that governs our span is strictly linear. It carries within it the term of its own decay, implacable as treason. That treason is our glory.